every time I'm on my period jet, it literally feels like my entire vulva is like super heavy. It feels so weighty. It feels like it's just gonna fall off. <laughs> Hello my loves and welcome to my channel. My name is Jess if you're new around here and if you're not new around here, welcome back sweetheart. It is a joy to have your beautiful face with us again today. You're a sweetheart. Thanks for coming back. I love you always. Recently I uploaded this video up here which is 14 people describe their periods. I had a bunch of wonderful people on there talking about their periods. I asked you guys on Instagram what questions you would like to know from people who are talking about their periods and they answered them. I didn't put myself in that video because I didn't really feel like, I don't know, it, it was not, it wasn't, I don't know, it was for the people, do you know what I mean? I didn't feel like I needed to be in it, but I liked the video and I liked the questions and you know, I talk about periods, I talk about all of these things, everything that comes out of our vaginas, I'm talking about it, babes. So I thought, what the fuck don't I just join in and make my own one? So here I am, I'm going to be answering some of the questions that you guys asked on Instagram about my period. First of all, I'd love to say thank you so much to everybody who got involved in that video. If you're watching this video, then thank you so much for being in that video, it's absolutely wonderful. If you are watching this video and you've not seen that video, then please go and watch it it really didn't get many views and I'm really really hurt about that like I've accepted that the rest of my channel like the views aren't good and they're not they you know it is what they're gonna get better manifestation they're gonna get much better uh, 2021 and all that but I, it's just sad when I like put so much time and effort into editing a video like that do you know how many hours that, that took me at least like 30 hours um and it's just like these people sent in their videos and it's just such a, i know how helpful that video has been for people and i know how helpful it could be for so many more people so if you've not watched that please watch it please share it please just like i want i need the algorithm to pick it up because it's important and it needs to be heard is it just that youtube is just shunning my channel because of what i talk about or is it just because it doesn't want people to accept their periods. I'm gonna get into answering the questions. When did you start your period and how long are they? I started my period when I was 15. I felt like that was really late. My best friend had started her period like at least, I feel like at least like a year before me. And it was really sad, but it felt like it was a competition. It felt like I needed to start my period. I remember exactly where I was. I was actually at a family friend's. Just had blood in my underwear, didn't I? And I was like, fuck. This is it then. My family friend didn't have any pads, does she? She only had tampolinis. There I was. You know those toilets where um, they have the bathroom and the toilet separate? So it's just the toilet is just in like one little room. It was one of those. I didn't know what position to be in. <laughs> I decided to sit on the floor. Not even sit on the toilet, you know. I sat on the fucking floor. Okay. I was trying to put this motherfucker in and it wasn't going in. I was so anxious and so scared that I was just so tense. And when your muscles are tense, obviously your vaginal muscles, they're tensing, bitch. Nothing is going up there. So it didn't work. And I don't remember what happened after that. I think I must have just resorted to using tissue for that time. My periods have always been around the same length of time. It's normally like five days and then a day or two at the end of like brown discharge. The only times that that has changed is when I've been on contraception and stuff but that we will answer in a mementos my periods yeah mate so i start when i was 15 i would say for the first five years of my periods they were fucking stressed they were all over the place like my periods were never regular i genuinely thought that i had a problem like, i would go sometimes six months without a period i would never ever have a period every month that was a myth that was a mythological creature to me i thought it was all a lie you know seeing everyone else having their period every month at the same time i was like yes i don't have to have a period every month that's great it got to the point where i started to worry you know you, you start to worry because because when you don't have a period every month, sometimes it means there's an issue. My period started to even out when I went on a plant-based diet. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm not even throwing that out there because I'm trying to force being plant-based down your throat. That's the actual fucking truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Amen. My periods evened out when I turned vegan. I didn't realize that that's why my periods fixed up like for a while until obviously I started learning more about diet and stuff and how your diet affects your body, like literally how your body functions. And that was that, man. I was like, damn. The products that I use are um, Ons Organic Tampons. I have an affiliate link in the description if you would like to purchase anything on their website. I will get 
a small cut of that and it will come to me and I'll be very, very grateful because, you know, self-employed, content creator, trying to make money out here. Anyway, I don't need to explain it. But On is an amazing company, honestly. They have organic tampons, organic pads, they have cramp care, so like CBD oils, they have CBD chocolate. They have a whole range of things now, which is really fucking exciting because when I first started with them, it was just tampons and it's just wonderful to see them blossom. So anyway, yeah, organic tampons, organic pads, period pants, reusable period pads. So I use four different types of products. I've tried a cup, it didn't work for me. I need to try a different type of cup. It wasn't the right type of material for me. When it comes down to the favorite, what makes it a favorite for me is how much work do I have to put in? And the one that requires the least effort for me is period pants. Period pants are incredible. I use Wooka period pants and I use Hey Girls period pants. The ones that I started using first were Wookas and they have an array of period pants. They're incredible, I highly recommend. Also another affiliate link down there for you. The thing is with reusable period products is at first, you know, if you've not dealt with your own period blood like that before, like if it's not something you're used to, then at first it's a bit like, oh God, oh God, gotta rinse out my own blood. You know, you see your, your actual blood running away in the sink as you're rinsing it out. At first it's a bit like, oh, but actually for me, I found it really interesting and I still find it really interesting. It's interesting for me to see how long it takes me to keep squeezing, squeezing. So then I kind of can get an idea of like the flow on that day as well. I absolutely love period pants. I really, really love period pants. They're just so easy, so convenient. Well, I've been on contraception on and off for like, since I was about 16 really. <laughs> maybe even 15. When I started to get sexually active, I think I tried the, the pill first, then I didn't like that, went on the implant. Just before I got into a relationship with a woman, I decided to take it out because I was like, I'm gonna be with women now, so I'm not gonna need it. And my periods came back to normal and it was great. So my periods, I can't even remember what my periods were like before, I'm not even gonna lie to you, but I can tell you what they're like now because I am on contraception now. I went on the pill because my PMS was disgusting and I was advised by the doctor to go on the pill because it will level that shit out. And that it did. For the first month, it was still normal, but the second month, it was literally like a two day light discharge. And it actually made me really sad. I actually really hated it. I actually really wished that my period was normal again. And then I had to come off the pill because I started to get headaches. And they say, if you start getting headaches, bitch, you better come off that fucking pill because that can cause clots and then, yeah, we don't, we don't want that. <laughs> the next month when my period came back to normal, honestly, when I looked in my underwear, I actually smiled. I was actually happy. I was so happy to have like a normal period again. It was so nice nice. That was actually quite a big moment for me personally because it made me really realise how much a period means to me. Like it makes me feel, I don't want to say it makes me feel like a woman because like, you know, you don't have to be a woman to have a period obviously. But for me as a woman, it made me feel good to have a period and that's just that. <laughs> this is the first month where I've not had a period. I'm 25 days late. I'm really upset about it. I was really hoping I'd be that person that had a regular period on the, on the implant, but apparently not. 100%. I always wank while on my period. It really does depend. Like, I don't actually wank every day. I feel like people probably think that I wank every day, but I actually don't. Wanking while on your period is really, really good for cramps. An orgasm a day keeps the cramps away, is what I say today. Hooray. <laughs> 100% CBD oil all the way on have CBD oil they have two different types they have yours hormonally which is incredible for your hormones and they have holy cramp so that one is really good to apply on your lower belly put on a tampon just to relieve any cramps that you have and trust me it works if you don't believe it head over to on's Instagram their website they've got many a testimonial and many a people that believe in it and vouch for their products I always use a hot water bottle but I feel like that's just regular that's actually all I do Yes, I genuinely thought I was the only one for so long until like, you know, a couple years ago when I asked people and then, you know, we found out that we're not the only ones that get shooting pains up our ass. And then TikTok came a thing. And then all of a sudden I'm seeing people posting TikToks about getting a shooting pain up their bum and on the period. And it's so nice to know that I'm not the only one. When I read this question, yeah. <sighs> I felt a sigh of relief just like that because everyone that I've asked has always said no. What are you talking about? And I genuinely thought I was the only one. But lo and behold, I'm not. Every time I'm on my period yet, it literally feels like my entire vulva is like super heavy. It feels so weighty. It feels like it's just gonna fall off. And it's just like a numbing, aching, dulling, horrible sensation that I wouldn't recommend to anyone. And I never knew that anyone else got it. So it's nice to know that there is. And this is the one question I'd like to know if you lots get. Please 
please comment down below. It's just taboo. Obviously, sometimes your insides may be a bit more raw. I just know which days I would like to have sex in my period. Definitely not day one, definitely not day two. Possibly day three, but definitely day four and definitely day five. I've had period sex before, laid down towels, expecting to see a fucking crime scene left behind, and there's been nothing left behind at all. I totally recommend it, mate. Sex is great any time of the year, but especially when you're feeling horny and bitchy and moody on your period and you just need a good fuck. Look, my PMS is a motherfucker. That's why I'm on the old implanonals. It really affects me mentally and it really does fuck me up. I really turn into a monster and I feel rude. Some, I feel suicidal, I can't even lie to you. And that's just not a feeling that I wanna feel every month. I can't lie, I really don't. Although I know that it's my PMS, like for a long time I didn't know it was my PMS. I just genuinely thought I was like mentally ill. Like I thought I was depressed. That shit can get to you, man. That shit can play on you. Cause it's like, why am I like this? You know, I'll be talking to someone and they're like, how often do you feel like this? And I'm like, at least every month. And then when I moved in with my mum, honestly, it was only until like May last year when I, my PMS was, you know, like the same really bad. And she noticed and she was like, is your period due? And I was like, yeah, in like a week. And she was like, is your PMS, Jess? And I was like, fuck. PMS is like a week before your period. When I'm on my period, I'm fine. I'm happy as Larry. And that's because your estrogen is back up. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like any more period related videos, please comment down below. Let a bitch know. Thumbs up. Give me a comment. Subscribe. Just do what the fuck you want to do. But most importantly, have a wonderful day and a wonderful life. And I'll see you back here very soon, sweetheart. Much love. Peace.